darling. If that now, let's have some lunch, eh? William, I didn't take you out of school just so you could play computer games all day. It's not just a computer game. It's fours of three. Right. Well, I stand corrected, then. Give you a game after lunch, if you like. You won't be able to handle it. No, there is such a thing as trying too hard, Mum. You just need to give him time, try and get his head around things. So, uh, would you like some toast on your first pit stop? What do you think uh, Jensen Wilde would want on it? Maybe some jam or marmalade? Just butter. Right. Just butter. How could he... How are you doing? Yeah, fine. Well, I'm OK. Been better. But I know I keep saying this, but I am around and we need to talk. Promise not to get too heavy. I really don't deserve you being so nice to me. I really don't. Yes, you do. I better go. I'll see you then, yeah? OK. Hi. Hi. Is he all right? Maybe she'd ask him yourself. Maisie, you're going to have to speak to him sooner or later. I just wanted to know if he's OK. Well, I think he is, considering. Still trying to get his head around everything that's happened, but... Is that what he said? Not in so many words. I don't know, he just seems more together than he has been. I know I'm probably a long way down his list of priorities right now, but... Maybe once he's got over the shock of his dad and... everything's settled down a bit. I don't know. I'll have to see. I've got to go. Yeah, OK. Bye. Didn't fancy your crusts, eh? Huh? Best bit, you know. Put hairs on your chest. That's what Dad used to say. But who wants hairs on the chest? It's weird, that. You know, everything's gonna be okay. I promise you. He's not coming back, is he? Your brother forgotten his key again. I'll get you some juice. Okay. You know, I could really do without any more surprises. Well, if you won't answer your phone, what do you expect me to do? Have you heard anything from Daniel? You know, frankly, I'm surprised you still care. Someone has to. Haven't you spent a lifetime worrying about that man? I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> you will join the club. Oh, Faye, you need to let this go. You of all people know what he's capable of. He wouldn't just leave his kids. Oh, but he'd happily leave me for dust, is that it? He loves them too much. Yeah, well, clearly he's discovered new reserves of selfishness. You don't think he's done anything stupid, do you? Don't be ridiculous. Well, don't tell me it hasn't crossed your mind. You know, I have a traumatised little boy next door and he is my only priority right now. So Mark, Daniel, whoever the hell he is, can take care of himself. He's been really off with Mum. I mean, he barely even spoke to her this afternoon. God knows what's going on in his little brain. It doesn't make any sense to me, let alone an 11-year-old. Are you here all night? No, um, you're back after this. All right, we'll try and spend some more time with Will tonight. He really needs us right now. Yeah, all right. Who made you captain sensitive? Bet you thought I'd forgotten all of her. Will you? Come in. You haven't been returning any of my calls. I'm sorry, I've uh, been a bit preoccupied. Now, as your boss, I have to say that I'm very disappointed in you. As your mate, I can 
kind of understand why. <sighs> it's all over the village, you know. Speculation is rife. Now, there's a surprise. Mm -hmm. Sit down. I even caught Eli in the men's toilets this morning, scribbling something on the wall about it. What? <laughs> Only kidding. <laughs> I'm not even sure he can write. If you've just come round here to wind me up... Well, I just thought I'd try and inject a bit of humour into the situation. Hmm? I'm only jealous. Wish my love life was half as interesting. Oh, don't. Sorry. Too soon for jokes. Way too soon. So, have you heard from him? No. No, no one has. Do you want to? Bit of a dry do, this, isn't it? Hey, least you can do is open a bottle of wine before you fill me in on all the gory details. Just stood there in her mansion, cool as could be, telling me to calm down. Yeah, well, she's had a lot to deal with. You know, maybe she's just protecting herself. Don't pity the ice cream. <laughs> you know, you could do with taking a few tips from her. Start looking after yourself for once. Never mind Mark. You know, if we'd have been able to leave our kids, he'd have gone away with me that night. It just doesn't make sense. Do you reckon he's done himself in? I'm going to have to call the police. <sighs> Tell them what? At least report him missing. Yeah, well, he's a grown man. They're hardly going to mobilise the army looking for him. I'll have to tell them everything. You sure you want to put yourself through that? You know, wouldn't it be better for you just to let things slide? Well? like that. You know, you scared me. Oh, darling, come here. Must be freezing, eh? Ooh. Where did you think you were going? I wanted to find Dad. Oh, God. Anyway, you're not going to find him here. Come on, let's get you inside. Eh? And you promised me that you will never do that again, OK? Come on, then. Where's your head? Let's get you some hot chocolate, shall we? Oh, I don't need to. Hey, I've got some marshmallows, you know. And I know you like those, eh? Hey? <laughs> oh, who's that now? Mrs. Wild, PC Swirling, me colleague PC Kara. Uh, what can I do for you? Mum? Do you mind if we come in? We, we need to talk to you concerning the disappearance of your husband. Of course. Come on in. Straight through there. 